was born into it. My dad raced to Heidelberg and different places around Pittsburgh. He ran the tri-state area. He was tri-state champion. He won a, a lot of races. And uh, I was up in the stands, a little kid watching him do it. And so it was in my blood. And, uh, you know, I before I had a driver's license, I was out there racing. And, uh, you know, my first championship was a figure eight championship a long time ago. And, you know, I've run uh, dirt and asphalt in semi-lates, late models. Uh, I ran NASCAR modified stuff in Shangri-La and Oswego with Jimmy Spencer and uh, Magic Shoes McLaughlin and all those guys. I have, I had a little airplane at the time. I'd fly up there and race with those guys. And, uh, you know, and then I got into ARCA and did some cup racing and Xfinity racing and kind of got uh, to the point where I really liked the schedule in the truck series and because, you know, it, he didn't race quite as much. And I had enough sponsorships that I could get there and, and uh, not enough to win, but, you know, I uh, had enough to go out and compete. And uh, people like Mike Beam at GMS helping me and, and several other people. And I could get some decent equipment. So that's why I did it. Absolutely. Well, and, and you look back on this, you're talking about racing. Trilanga and Jimmy Spencer and a lot of these guys that made their way up through the NASCAR ranks as well. What was the point for you or was there a time in place where you realized, hey, maybe I can make a, a career out of this or I, I can really take this racing to the next level? Did you ever have like that that moment where you realized this can go further? Well, yeah, back in 2000, I, I acquired Sobe, major sponsorship. And uh I was actually flying airplanes too at the time and uh, mine safety MSA and, and the same week that I got this major sponsorship, they shut down their flight department. So I didn't have to quit. So <laughs> but, uh, I had this major sponsor for two and a half years. And the first year we had it, we went clear to third in the points, finished fifth when it was all said and done and led three different races. And so I showed people what we could do with a budget and uh, it was our first year and growing pains the first year of racing. I wish I could do that first year over again because we wasted a lot of money. Right. And, uh, you know, we didn't always have the right people in the beginning either. <laughs> Won't mention any names, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we still had a lot of success. And, uh, and I was proud of that. And uh, we had people like uh, Shodine Holmes in Chicago. When I was running Cup, he was, he was helping me quite a bit with that equipment. And, uh, so that was a lot of fun, too. That's awesome. And you look at your stats over the years, and you ran a few cup races. I believe it was four cup races. Do you ever think back? Yeah, I ran, a, I ran <laughs> a lot more than that. That's what <laughs> aggravates me. People say that four races, but every year I'd run the 150s or the 125s, whatever they were. Mm -hmm. And every year I'd run the Open. There's no points, but there's still NASCAR races. And I probably did 15 of those. 